Hey Grill Billies, Grill Sergeant here, and who lives in a pineapple under the sea? Today, we're going to be firing up the Pit Boss Smoker and doing a bourbon injected brown sugar glazed pineapple. Let's start the show. All right, did you catch it? Let's rewind. Hey Grill Billies. Hey Grill Billies. That's right, you guys voted in the community tab. Your new squad name is the Grill Billies. Man, I love it. If you haven't yet and you wanna be a part of the fun, hit that subscribe button and just join us along this crazy journey. At 2,000 subs, we're doing an epic giveaway, so I want you to stay tuned for that, all right? So smash that like button and let's get started. All right, time to fire up the pit boss. We wanna make sure our dial is set to smoke. Then we are going to turn the smoker on. And then from here, we're basically gonna fill in the water pan. Man, that took a lot of effort to turn on that smoker. So make sure you stay hydrated, friends. Cheers. This is a Modern Times IPA called Star Cloud. And for a hazy IPA, this is delicious. So I've noticed on a video I put out addressing pit boss error codes, a question I commonly get is about the ERH code. And basically what that means is your smoker is just like me, too hot. <laughs> oh, that's hot. But in all serious, it's basically saying that your smoker is getting too hot too quick. You're going to want to turn your smoker on smoke setting, but leave it there for like 15 minutes. Now another trick is to make sure your top stack is actually opened wide up and that's going to let the heat basically circulate throughout the smoker and not trap it on the inside. Now, if your smoker does give you the ERH code, you basically want to shut it off and keep it shut off till the smoker cools down. If you basically, you know, unplug it, plug it right back in and start it, the smoker will still be too hot and it will still give you that code. So let the smoker cool off and then you should be good to go. So if you're having any issues with your pit boss, I will throw a link to the video so you can basically check out how to address all the error codes. But so far, man, mine hasn't been giving me any problems. Thank God. So we are going to take our pineapple. Now the interesting thing is it's neither a pine nor an apple. Oh, I don't know where I'm going with that. But anyway, we're basically going to chop off this end. and chop the butt end of it off. You kind of want to find where these eyelid thingies are here and basically start chopping down here. Now you're going to want to take your whiskey or bourbon glass and pour one cup. So now we are going to take our injector. Let's go right down the center. There we go. Ooh, good Lord. <laughs> All right, now we're going to take our brown sugar, basically just start coating this pineapple. And you basically just want to coat all sides liberally in the brown sugar. All right, so now we're gonna take our hot little mess right here. We're gonna put it in a tray and then we're now we're gonna put it in the smoker. All right, so the smoker right now is at 400 degrees. I'm gonna put this in and we'll check on it in about a half hour. The game plan, check on it a half hour. We're gonna flip it, let it go another half hour. 
Then we're basically going to slice these up into about one inch sections and then put it back in for about another 10 minutes just to let it caramelize and then we're gonna dig in, all right? So let's open this bad boy up. Make sure we wanna stand far back because there's gonna be a ton of heat rating off of this. We're gonna put it in here like so. We're gonna close the door. All right, we'll check back in 30 minutes. All right, now you're gonna wanna pour your second glass and this is just for you to enjoy. All right, cheers guys. Now, two things really quick. One, when it comes to the bourbon whiskey, you can pretty much use whatever you want. And then two, don't worry about keeping it just for yourselves and not feeding the kids. All the alcohol that's inside the pineapple is actually going to burn off by the time it's done cooking. So don't you worry about that. Safe for the little children around here. So let's settle this debate. There are so many people out there. Some people like pineapple on their pizza. Some people absolutely hate it. Let me know in the comments what you think. Is pineapple okay to go on pizza? I mean, some are like, absolutely not. And then some basically mound pineapple on like it's a, like it's a freaking mountain or something. <laughs> Let me know your thoughts and let's settle this debate. All right, it has been a half hour. You are going to want to wear the heat gloves for this. It is gonna get pretty hot in here, but man, you can see a nice golden brown. So now we're basically gonna flip it basically now do the other side. As it is in here, I will throw down a little bit more coating on here. We're gonna close it up and we'll check back in on another 30 minutes. All right, so hey, look what came in the mail today. That's right, we got Grill Sergeant stickers and man, these are just the bee's knees. Let me know in the comments if you want one. This thing is just so freaking cool. 20 minutes later. All right, it's been a half hour. So now time to get this pineapple onto the cutting board. Okay, basically cut this into pieces just about that size. Probably get maybe six out of here. So now what I'm gonna do is just coat the tops of these with the brown sugar. And then we're going to coat the other side. I'm gonna put these back on the smoker for about 10 minutes and then we're going to dig in. A few moments later. All right, the moment of truth. Let's cut in and see how this tastes. Wow, there are a lot of flavors going on there. You taste the sweetness of the pineapple, the caramelization of the brown sugar, a very, very mild hint of the bourbon and whiskey. And you have this almost like, a, like a, a nice thin crust on the outside that is very, very sweet. That is surreal. Now obviously this wouldn't be a main dish, but this would definitely be a killer as an either an appetizer, or I could picture mixing this up with, you know, vanilla ice cream and having this on the side. One thing I did want to try when I was researching about, you know, different ways to do the pineapple is they said when you bring basically a heat or a spice to the pineapple, that would work out pretty good. So what I'm gonna do Actually, I have Uncle Steve's shake, the spicier, and I'm basically going to apply that on both sides and basically just to see um, how this tastes with basically a, uh, a kick to it. So I'm gonna lay down some of the spice, and I'm gonna cut into this and then see how it tastes having that spice kick to it. Wow. That's really good. So everything I described about the first one, you have the sweetness of the pineapple and the caramelization from the brown sugar, a hint of flavor from the bourbon and whiskey. And now you have this spice kick to it. And I think that actually the spice kind of brings it all together. I'm telling you, if you want a roller coaster of flavor, you have got to try this out. Well guys, I hope you liked this video. 
you know, the whole point of, is basically just being creative and having fun and just seeing, you know, what you can come with on the smoker. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think and I'll catch you guys on the next video, all right? Grill Sergeant out. Cheers, guys. Peace. If Red Bull gives you wings, this whiskey gives you four-wheel drive. Oh my gosh. <coughs> I'm only kidding.